What is up guys, welcome back to Mr. Tech Boss. iOS 14 developer beta 2 was just released about an hour or so ago and I just already installed it on my iPad Pro 11 inch 2018. And as you can see, mine says public beta because I'm not using the official Apple profile which you have to pay $99 a year for. I'm using this one from betaprofiles.com. You can use it, it's exactly the same, just the name is different because even though the public beta isn't released yet, it's just i don't know why it says public beta 2 but whatever we're getting it for free but anyway so there are a few changes on it but without any further ado let's get right in all right so guys before you get started please make sure to like share and subscribe and if you do like my videos i have a paypal link down below so if you want to donate i would really really appreciate it but anyway once uh, you've done once you've subscribed let's get started and do make sure to watch the video till the end but anyway so as you can see the update was 720 megabytes and I installed it, it didn't take too long I it wasn't like the servers were busy or anything it didn't take quite long so yeah that's a great thing also the update isn't too huge but anyway there are two bugs that I already saw that have been fixed so number one bug was so let me actually show you a screen recording of it so as you can see when I would try to previously adjust my brightness I would like move my finger across evenly but it would like jitter sometimes it was not like even so now that has been fixed, I can easily do, slide it across and it has no issues whatsoever and it's perfect, just like it was on iOS 13. And yeah, with that bug fixed, there was also one more bug that I noticed just today. So if I, for example, have scrolled, oops, if I have actually scrolled down through the widgets, so if it's like this, it, will, it would be fine. So if I scroll down something like this, and then if I would activate control panel, there would be frame drops. So like, like when it would go up, the animation would have some frame drops. I had that issue and it, I reported it today. I don't know if that's why they fixed it, but it is fixed. So yeah, those are some two great bugs that have been eliminated, but there's one bug that is still there. So if I, for example, open any app, and then if I, for example, go home, so as you can see you, this animation is, so if I open it and then I close it, it becomes smaller and then it just like becomes big unnaturally. It only happens with the dock. So I guess it's a bug in the dock. I haven't reported it. I will try to. And if you have an iPad, I recommend reporting all the bugs you see because that just helps Apple. So as you can see, there is this small jitter. I don't know, they need to fix it, but it's not a big deal. Anyway, so if it's like a normal app, it just does it fine. Only if you're going the app into the dock, only if the app is going into the dock, then this thing happens. So this is the only bug that I knew of that hasn't been fixed yet. By the way, guys, if you're still watching, thank you. I really, really appreciate it. Please make sure to stay tuned until the end. But anyway, there's one thing, uh, the one weird thing I found here. So if I go into software update, I know I'm using the unofficial beta profile, so I guess that's why, but it still says I, iPadOS beta 14, iPadOS 14, not 14 developer beta 2 or public beta 2 because I'm using a fake profile. I don't know, I, I just don't know what's wrong, but the name is still the same, although those bugs have been eliminated. All right, so guys, as you can see, there is also this one bug. The weather app or the weather widget actually, it is a bit inconsistent so as you can see it just isn't showing anything right now and if i open it it takes me to apple.com i don't know why that is but that doesn't really matter sometimes it just fixes itself but yeah it's not a big deal or a deal breaker for me also guys if you do any do know any bugs leave them down uh, with the hours 14 obviously leave them down in the description or you can also join my telegram group if you want some more support but yeah but yeah guys that is basically about it please make sure to subscribe and if you think i missed something because i did try to make the video as soon as possible for you guys to know it at the earliest but if you do think i missed something leave it down in the comment i might pin your comment if it is something valid but anyway please make sure to like share and subscribe and if you're still watching thank you please consider donating me it just doesn't matter the amount but if you do wanna i have the link below but yeah as always, stay safe and this is Fuzal Hamad from Mr. Tech Boss, signing off.